Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to be doing this mermaid kind of look. I'm calling it a mermaid look because it has this green emerald gorgeous color. I don't know, I was just feeling a seaside vibe I guess. But if you want to see how to get this nude lip mixed with a mermaid eye, then just keep watching. Alright, so my skin is super dry today, so I'm going to go in with the Lush Feeling Younger Skin Tint. This one always um, makes my skin feel a little bit more moisturized when it's like feeling dry. I never really tend to get dry, um, just because I am oily ultimately, but on the rare days I do, this is what I like to go in with. I'm just rubbing this in to my face, my ears, my neck, and then I like to set that into place with the Aroma Water by Lush as well. This is their um, toner water. It has rose and lavender in it, so it's really going to help the primer stick. And I just like to tap this in as well, just so it really sinks into the skin. Alright, so first I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Fair. Just rubbing that in with this concealer brush. with some translucent powder. I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder. So the first thing you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to take any fluffy crease brush that you have and I'm using the MAC 224 to and then I'm going to dip into my transition shade, which is going to be this orangey warm tone shade right here. Generous amount on your brush. And just start working that right into the crease. Alright, so next is the fun part. I'm going to go in with this gorgeous emerald mermaid teal blue, whatever you want to call it, shade. I'm going to go ahead and just put it on, on my eye using my finger. And I know I shouldn't tug at my eye, but I do all the time. Can't help it. Alright, so this is what you should have so far. Um, it's very messy at the moment. Don't worry, we are going to clean that up. I'm going to take my E27 from Morphe. I'm going to um, mix those two transition shades from that same palette and just start working this into the crease and making like a soft gradient just to blend the lid and the... Um, and again, just do the exact same thing on the other side. Let's create a nice gradient. Don't 
Doing that might take away a little tiny bit from the lid, so I'm just going back in with a tiny little bit of that emerald color and just putting it, um, giving some life back to it almost. I'm going to go in with um, just a black. Any black you have will be perfect. Starting from the outer V, you really want to focus on the outer V for this. And then just drag it slightly up into the crease. Very, very light handed with this. You can always build product. You can always add it. But you can't take it away. It's very, very important to remember. So you don't want to go in with like so much black on your brush and then just go straight into your eye. You really want to focus on building it up. And creating a nice gradient instead of just going black. I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Focusing mainly on the outer V of the eye. Kind of almost creating a cat eye look. Like a little triangle almost. And then bringing it up. Very slightly. Into the rest of the green. Now that the liner is done, I'm going to go do my mascara and brows off camera and I will be right back. Before I put um, my eyebrows on, I'm going to take some MAC Nylon and highlight underneath my brow bone. Now that the mascara and the brows are done, I'm going to go ahead and start the face. Today I'm going to be using the Matte and Poreless Foundation by Maybelline. I'm in the shade 112 Natural Ivory. I'm going to take a little bit and put it on the back of my hand. I'm going to take my damp beauty blender, dip right in, and start buffing that into the face. I like to use the matte and poreless one because my skin is oily, so um, minus my highlight, obviously, I really like to have matte skin just so I don't look oily throughout the day. Today I am going to use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye for my concealer today. And put it underneath my eyes. I'm going to take my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm going to start baking my under eyes with it. And then I'm going to put it everywhere that I put concealer as well. And then also just set the rest of my face. I'm just going to take my E3 and just swipe it away. Dip into that same emerald shade and I'm going to start packing that on my lower lash line. So 
I just lined my waterline with the Scandal Eyes from Rimmel. This is in the nude shade. It just kind of opens up your eyes and makes you look more awake. Then I'm going to take the My MAC Lash, what is this, Extended Play Lash Mascara. And just put this on the lower lash line. Keep dropping stuff. Now I'm going to take the Hula Bronzer by Benefit and contour my face with this. That's a lot. really want to keep the contour on the outsides of the face so it makes your face look smaller. And next I'm super excited about this. This is the Sweet Peach Highlight Palette. I'm going to take my Morphe E2, just my big fluffy brush, and I'm going to dip into the blush. And next I'm going to take my Watts Up from Benefit. It's just their um, stick highlighter. I'm going to take this on just a small stippling brush. This is from e.l.f. And start putting that down on the high points of the cheekbone. I love putting a cream highlight down before a powder. I almost do this every time. Um, it just intensifies it and then not to mention also makes the highlighter stick a lot longer. And you could leave it at that if you like. It is a pretty intense highlight, but I always have to be extra. And So I'm going to take some of my MAC Fix Plus. While my face is still wet, I'm going to take the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And while the skin is still wet, put it right over top of where we applied those highlights before. This will really intensify them. There she is. Hi! I'm going to put the highlighter on my cupid's bow, down the bridge of my nose, and to finish off the look, I'm going to be using Tarte's Park Avenue Princess. Didn't even take it out of the packaging yet. As you can see, I literally just got it. The packaging is adorable. It has like little leaves on it. Alright you guys, so this is the finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, while you were gone, I decided to add a little gloss to the lip. I'm using Sugar Sugar by Marc Jacobs, one of my all-time favorite lip glosses of all time. It is amazing. It, um literally pairs well with any nude pink any lipstick you could ever want it's gorgeous i'm obsessed with it make sure you get your hands on this it's pricey but worth it in my opinion so yeah like i said thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate you being here on my channel and make sure to subscribe and like for more tutorials in the future bye guys she, she's staring at a closed window don't know why people have to call me right now. Who's that? <laughs> now
never fails. Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. I'm filming my intro! Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. I see your pretty face as soon as you came in the door. I just wanna chill, got a sleep for us to roll. Married to the money, introduced it to my stove. Showed her how to whip and now she only makes some photo. She my trap queen, let it hit the bed, no. Nothing up, watch her. 